Yo, it's cool time. Hey, hey to my cats. What's up, to all my ducks? Guys, it finally happened. OpenSea is now integrating Solana NFTs. DGENs, OpenSea, handshake emoji. Let's fucking go. All right, Sniper, so let's dive into Solana. I made a guide for you guys that's gonna slap harder than Will Smith did Chris Rock at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, wow! Basically, all Solana NFTs have a chance to go parabolic once they get integrated onto OpenSea. So we gotta get ready for this, guys. I wanna let you know first off, your first couple trades are gonna suck, okay? If you're just starting out in NFTs, you're just starting out on Solana NFTs, no matter what you do, don't overinvest. Don't don't try to be the money man here. Don't try to be, you know, Ted DiBiase. Don't try to be Elon Musk, fuck Jeff Bezos. Make bets on proven projects that you know are going to perform well. Especially if you don't have a lot of time. Let's say, you know, you're somebody like me. When I first got into NFTs, I was working a nine to seven job every day. Boring. Just don't overinvest at first, okay guys? Don't try to be Neil Armstrong. Don't try to make, you know, one small step for mankind. Don't try to do any huge leaps or anything like that. Because your first few trades, you probably will lose money. But this is just to dip your toes in the water. So I'm telling you to bet on proven projects first. The first one is Blocksmith Labs. Because honestly, it reminds me a lot of D-Gods, especially the art here. But the fact that they're building a lot of great tools, you know, automatic whitelist allocations, different tools for for people that will really matter on Solana. I think Blocksmith Labs is building something really special here. And I, I mentioned D-Gods because a lot of people I know in the D-Gods community fucking love Blocksmith Labs. Sitting at an eight sold floor price and the activity has actually been really, really solid in the past hour. You can see even some above floor sales here, which means people are hedging bets that this is going to be a longer term play, not just a quick flip. If you don't have a sugar mama who's paying for your Solana, bet on proven projects, Blocksmith Labs. I think I called this in my Discord at like four soul, three, three or four soul, rising up slowly but surely. Another proven project that I've mentioned in almost every single Solana video because I think it has tons of potential is Sea Shanties. They've created now three different collections. All three have like a 10 soul floor price, so they're doing really well. It's gamified NFTs with a membership in a DeFi style reward yielding gains and they have a token triton projects on solana that have a token have done very well recently you think mind folk with wood d gods with dust and that's what i'm saying in this number two new projects are literally just flipping opportunities to stack more soul so if you have a lot of time to research these new projects go ahead and do that but eventually the end game is to get into these more established projects like we're talking about right now. So what's a project with a really low floor price that has a great team? Drippies. Drippies, 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 drippies. Drippies, 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 drippies. Right, I get it! So you see it has a three soul floor price, pretty cool art, activity, doing really well in the last hour. But you look here and you say 5,555 vibey creatures from the Drippyverse. What the fuck does that even mean? You have to do the research here, guys. And what, this is like what I was saying. You want to be able to flip good projects. Drippies is a good project. When I first got into Ethereum last year, the first project I ever bought was Subducks. The second project I bought after I started flipping Subducks was Cool Cats. So you don't need to flip the Doodle, Azuki, Apes, you know, to make Solana or ETH. Flip the projects that you know are going to do well and don't feel bad about flipping. You know, I'd rather flip a bunch of cool cats or flip a bunch of subducts than these other trash projects because at the end of the day, if these projects don't allow me to 2x, 3x in a couple weeks, at the end of the day, I still have a good project in my wallet, okay? I'm not stuck holding the bag on something I don't like or doesn't have a proven team. So again, flip good projects flip good teams. But how do we evaluate this right now on Solana, guys? Do some fucking research, guys. You guys are so lazy. Do some research. Just kidding. Uh, I know you guys are doing tons of research. Look at me. I look like Bill and I, the science guy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Drippies? You gotta do the research here. So I go on here and I see a couple things. I see them promoting, okay, 24 hour floor up 129%, love that. Number of unique holders all time high. Why do I care about unique holders? I care about unique holders because if somebody is hoarding tons of drippies, let's say I have 200 drippies, and then one day I said, I need liquidity. I'm gonna list 50 drippies at floor. That's gonna create such a wall 
that it's going to tank the floor price or at least or cause a delay in the floor price moving up. So the less that somebody has, the less they can tank a floor price. So you want tons of unique holders. So these are good things here. But what else am I looking at here? Information overload. Ugh. I'm looking at created by Digital Flower CG. Okay, they formerly worked at Genies. Okay, Genies, cool, verified, 56,000 followers. Is the, the research done here? No, gotta do a little bit more research. Why is this a good project? Why is this something I should probably stack up on and start flipping? So again, Genies is not Drippies. This is just somebody who used to work at Drippies. But Bob Iger, the former CEO, the guy who ran fucking Disney, you know, the Mickey Mouse, the, hi, I'm Cool Times, welcome to Disney Channel. That guy, yeah, he's investing and joining the board of Genies, which in my opinion, Genies is going to be the Amazon of digital avatars in the future. You know, it's, they've worked with artists like Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, love me some J-Lo, Rihanna, Lil Nas X, not as big of a Lil Nas X fan as probably those other two, but huge connections here. I'm just looking around here. I see, you know, venture capitalists. I see Disney, I see Universal Music Group, Warner. I see big names. So that means that the person, Digital Flower CG, probably has some connections and, and probably is gonna be able to use that for the project Drippies. So that's what you're doing. You're either betting on teams, proven projects, or you're gonna bet on some, some smaller projects that still have these, these good teams. The common denominator is good teams. But let's, let's, let's get something out of the way here, guys. You have no idea what the fuck you're doing, okay? <laughs> Don't buy rares. They're a liquid in most collections. So. Don't say, oh, Drippies looks great. Let me go get the, let me go use rarity tools and get the top 10, you know, most rare, you know, golden penis. Don't buy the diamond penis, guys. You don't, you don't need the diamond penis. You don't need the top 10 diamond penis. What you need are the floors. You need to increase your profit margin as much as possible because, hey, look, I have rares in plenty of Solana projects or in ETH projects. And the fact of the matter is, if it's not Doodles, if it's not Bored Ape, if it's not Zuki, if it's not Mindfolk, Dguts, people don't care about rares. You need buyers for rares. You know, if I have a, a, a drippy rare um, and the floor is three soul, there's not gonna be like tons of buyers who are like, let me pay 20 soul for the top 10 rare drippies. That's not like, there's not a lot of people like seeking that out on a daily basis. So don't think you're some genius. I have before where I'm like, I'm gonna snipe the rares. I'm the American sniper, I'm gonna snipe the rares. You have no idea what the fuck you're doing, okay? But let's say you do wanna sling your dick around, you do want the diamond penis. Don't go for the diamond penis, guys. Go for golds, okay? Always buy gold because in different collections on Solana, there are different traits that matter more, okay? But in any project, Ethereum, Solana, any chain, people like gold. So if you do want to buy a trade, I wouldn't even look at rarity rankings. I would just buy gold. So number five on Bradley Cooper's Welcome to Solana guide is let's not reinvent the wheel. Buy projects with roadmaps that have traditionally done well on Solana. So I mean, let's buy projects that are similar to other projects that have done well. It's like Hollywood. They just keep making the same fucking movies over and over again. Should we create a, a beautiful piece of cinema? No, let's do a fucking superhero movie. So what's the first project I'm looking at with a low floor price that could do well on open sea? That's not reinventing the wheel. That's something that's done well before. This one is Enviro, three soul floor price, make your own metaverse, cross chain application, interoperability. It's a complete suite of tools that give creators access across industries, freedom and control to build their own metaverse. I've talked about this project before, but basically this reminds me of NFT worlds. If projects start to use Enviro, start to use these passes to build in game, you know, mini games or battle royales or whatever for their projects, that's really bullish. And we've seen this do well again with NFT worlds. We've seen this do well with, you know, suites. We've seen this do well cross platforms, making your own metaverse or just metaverse uh, projects as a whole do well. And let's say you don't even believe that Enviro has the right team to do this. The speculation alone will probably cause this floor to go up at some point. Another thing I like here is floor price, 3.8. Average sale plot price in the last 24 hours is 5.73. So that's pretty good. We've seen some above floor sales. That's just one of these projects that's not reinventing the wheel. The next one is Turtles. 10 sold floor price, a little hefty, but again, this is 
probably one of the more successful DAOs on Solana. And DAOs are super important on this ecosystem because they get out great alpha. The best alpha on Solana are usually in these DAO projects. Turtles is one with a tremendous track record. There's been some high sales, 12 Solana here when you know you only have the, the 10 sold floor price. So I think this is one that you know, when people go onto OpenSea and they see Solana projects and they want to learn more, they're probably going to go to a DAO project. You know, we've seen Thugbirds do really well. We've seen, you know, the Borioku Dragon. This is a smaller cap, uh, smaller uh, price. Turtles is one of these projects. That's a DAO project that can do well. That's not reinventing the wheel. Same thing with the Launch Labs here. Launch pad projects on Solana are doing very well. We've seen D Gods, Famous Fox Federation do a great job of using a revenue sharing protocol, using liquidity pools to help, you know, people launch projects and then having tokens that you can use to buy these projects. So Launch Labs, five sold floor price. Again, who gives a fuck about the art here, guys? It's just a pass. It's really easy to make, whatever. Hopefully they're spending their time doing other shit. Only 45 listed at the moment. Again, we like the average sale price above the floor price by a couple soul here. So. Launch pads work well on Solana. This is one that I can see flying in the next couple of weeks. Number six, use free tools to make logical assertions about projects. Example, filter the average price and see what the biggest gap is between that and the floor price. So I'm gonna show you guys how I find some projects. You know, you gotta do further research than this, but I like to go to like stats on Magic Eden, which we're gonna be using OpenSea uh, soon. So who the fuck cares about Magic Eden at this point? But um, I like to go, so some people filter by, you know, floor price, volume, lots of, I like to go to average price in 24 hours and, you know, you usually got to scroll down a bit, but, um, yeah, this is, I like to see the average price and I want to find like something like here, average price four, but the floor price is two. That means people are buying above floor, or buying rares. We want to find projects where people are buying rares. So we're just gonna use this again. This is nice. This is 2X. The average price is 2X of the floor price. So this is a project I'd look at here. Three to five, two to five, five. That's even more than 2X, okay? That's interesting. Volume is zero though. So I don't give a fuck about that. We want the volume to be high in 24 hour. Boom, stylish studs. So we're looking for projects that have people buying into above floor um, pieces and that have tons of volume. So use these free tools to your benefit. And also use FTX US. They sponsor this channel and this video and there's no gas fees. So if you love Solana, but you like Ethereum NFTs more, go on FTX US. They have tons of collections on there and there's no gas fees. And you can use my code below and you get like 10 bucks off or something. So use the code below, sign up. It's also the cheapest place to buy crypto. And that's the video for today, Sniper. Solana NFTs are about to get their ass kicked by the Sniper gang. Make sure to comment, make sure to like, subscribe, really helps out the channel. Or, or don't do any of that, who gives a fuck? I don't. You know what truly warms my heart though? Is saying, gang, gang.